welcome to Derbyshire then. Matlock FC get us underway in this FA Trophy third qualifying round. What a scenic view and what a lovely ground this is. Matlock with an early chance here. Within the first minute, pop it in. And the danger's not over for Bedford. It's got a, uh, it's got a big cut tie feel about this one. FA Trophy, of course, no extra time if the scores are level. As Bedford's last game did, we'll go to penalties, but we've got 90 minutes between here and then. The game is underway. Corner, early doors to the home side. Corner taking them from the far side, whipped in. Headed out, goes for another corner. Bit of pressure for Bedford to soak up inside these opening couple of minutes. Second attempt from the set piece, and this time played short. Back here was very nice. It's absolutely done the Bedford defence there. And they can only clear it for another corner. Bedford don't appear to have woken up just yet. Well, third corner of the game then. Played into the near post. Morgan Griffiths, who gets a start this afternoon, heads it out. It's back with Matlock. And chip it into touch. There's Lewis Green then starting with the number two. Oh, that's come off rather nicely for Bedford. Lewis Green then now into the uh, final third, puts the ball in. Can only be played out for a corner. First one for the away team this afternoon. Uh, about to pop it in, does so with that left foot. Played in a little too close to the keeper. And that attack breaks down. Edge of the area now. Lewis Green with a bit to deal with. He does give it back to the uh, Matlock seven, who sweetly pops it in. And he's headed out. Perhaps a chance to break here for Bedford then. As uh, amber and black shirts arriving. Morgan Griffiths now on the far side. Throw in taken. Makes the only man forward here. Perhaps won a corner here. That was done. About all he could do. Corner far side then. Played in by Watkins. Back post again. Keeper claims it well. No real threat given. All out wide here then. Matlock come forward, looking a little bit dangerous. This attack comes in, keeper gets an important touch. And it goes out for a corner. That's the closest uh, the home side have come so far. Corner on the far side, referee just has a little chat with the linesman. Not quite sure what about here, but he's now making his way to the dugout for um, some reason or other. Well, this um, whatever it is escalating the uh, linesman I oh, sorry the referee does keep pointing towards the corner here and there's, uh, there's not a man in a very snazzy suit who's come out to check the situation <laughs> well there we go not all heroes wear capes but there is a leak on the pitch we're just being told and uh, here comes <laughs> comes the grounds team to uh, well hopefully fix it else we'll all be going home well, there you go here's the Matlock man Getting solidly involved here. It does look <laughs> quite heavily waterlogged, actually. Well, the big water puddle has been cleared and the corner can now eventually be taken. It's played into the near post. The game is back underway. Back outside then to the uh, number seven. You probably have a bit of a boggy area to contend with. And that is well won. Goes Bedford's way. Brian Blake down the near side then. Pops it inside. There isn't anyone really there in support. Bedford do look a bit limited when they're coming forward. It has to be noted. Does Matlock come forward now? Morgan Griffiths with a bit of defending to do here. Does well. Robs the Matlock man. Ball played forward. It's, uh, it's going to come straight back. And Matlock then. Oh, and the ball ran well here, Bedford. I must admit it's starting to look a little bit desperate as the shot comes in. Smith holds that one, but um, Matlock that's starting to get a foothold in this one. Another chance from the set piece, another two-man wall for Bedford. Popped in once again by Matlock. Wide of the mark, Bedford goal kick. Matlock come forward again, then shot on goal. Held again by Smith. But, um, Matlock getting a little bit closer in this first half. Corner then, Matlock. Played in from the far side to the back post. Smith gets a hand on it. Lots going on in the area. The referee eventually points to the spot. Saw the infringement. And it is a Matlock penalty then just before half time. A chance from 12 yards. The protest from Bedford. 
aren't going to be enough and it will be a penalty to Matlock. Well on the edge of half time then a chance from 12 yards for Matlock down to take the lead. Oh he saves Smith! Danger not over yet though, chip back in and Bedford survive. Wonderful save from the Bedford keeper as Blake plays it forward then. Furthest man forward is Lewis Walsh. Bedford on the break now then. Lewis Walsh, oh my goodness! From two or three yards out, it somehow didn't find the back of the net, but goodness me, has this game come alive in the last minute. Throw in far side now then. The crowd all of a sudden feeling alive, sounding alive. Ball in the box for Bedford. Cut back. Oh, unfortunate. Not a great contact on it. Watko, things are a long way wide of the target. Still nil-nil. Well, he must be in stoppage time here. There's another free kick that's played in by Matlock. Whipped in with some venom, but um, it's come off the Matlock man in the end, goes for a goal kick. Won't be time to take the goal kick. And that's 45 minutes played in this first half, which has been a bit of a battle if we're being honest. Two teams up against it. If Bedford didn't think they were in a battle, they'll know it now. They're going to have to give 100% to win this. Matlock, probably the better team at 0-0 going in at the break, moving it around a little bit better, defending very well, looking solid. But um, no goals. Penalty save is the closest it's got. Going into the break then. Here in Derbyshire, Bedford Town nil. Matlock Town nil. Second half is underway then. Nil nil going in at the break. And uh, the teams are both out. Ball is in play. Referee has started the second half. And are we going to see a goal in the second half? Don't forget it will go straight to penalties after 90 minutes. For then in possession, Watkins brings the ball forward here. Is Walsh. He was kept very quiet in the first half. Dinks it in into the keeper's arms. Mallow with a shot, whizzes past the near post. A good effort, the best it's got in this second half. Early doors as it is, still nil-nil. Throwing taken on the far side, and here's Morgan Griffiths. He plays it in left-footed, but uh, quite the one. Watkins, Adam Watkins. Right of the mark, still nil-nil. Comes with the ball down line, Blake in a battle here now then. Holds it up and we could do with some support. Doesn't find that support, but back in Bedford possession now. Watkins finds Wolfster. Back with Watkins. Cleared by the Matlock defence as far as Collard. Here's Akibain. Watkins plays the ball out wide. Here's Morgan Griffiths then. Tom Morgan Griffiths brings it inside. Bedford looking to string a few passes together. Blake with the ball across goal. Oh, how did it stay out? It's not gone in the net and Walsh can't quite believe it himself. That was the biggest chance of the game. The score remains nil-nil. Well, free kick then shortly after the double change for Bedford. It's played out by the Mallon defence who have stood pretty strong throughout this game so far. Matlock defence again then, holding strong. And they do well there, hold off Ryan Blake's efforts. And they play the ball around in midfield. They've been um, very strong in the middle of the park also. Play the ball around here with plenty of room to do it at the moment. Bedford just resetting in defence. Ready for this next wave of blue as it comes forward. They won't want to let Matlock get a shot off. There is room though. Wide of the target. Still nil nil. <laughs> Matlock come forward here then. Oh, it's an incredible challenge from Shane Bush. Danger not over yet though. Cross comes in. Played long. Morgan Griffiths slides in. And the final touch is off the Matlock man, but some um, good defending, killer defending from uh, Bedford Town. Here is 
for free kick then it's taken by Smith. Cunnington for target, gets a head on it. And here is uh, Blake. Plays a simple ball down line. Here's Walston's left foot. It's going in. Oh, imagine. Oh, oh, imagine. Keeper plugs it out of the air, but uh, still nil nil. Comes down line. Matt will come forward now, left foot ball into the box. Smith's going to hold this, and this is. Well, it's, it's an absolute grind for both sides. Well, a free kick here to Bevertown. It's in a reasonably dangerous area. It's, Matt like the man runs across the face of the ball, but it's um, Adam Watkins over it. As a pop. It's for a corner, apparently. Well, corner to Bedford Town then. Played in. Into the box, right towards the back. Goodness me, that was close. Back with Watkins. Right foot in swinging. Keeper comes. Holds it well. Throwing taken, it's a long one from Matlock. Oh, and the referee is giving another free kick. Free kick then to Matlock. And what a grind this game has become. We are some way through this second half. As the free kick's taken, that's a great challenge. Jesse does well. Takes the furthest man forward. Doesn't win the aerial challenge. That one's high. And that's cleared long. Is anyone going to get on the end of that? The Matlock man doesn't take it too cleanly. Come on, Manny! Manny in contention. Jesse with time here, takes it on the chest, takes it well. Jesse, who has been heavily involved and must be absolutely knackered. It's a free kick to Bedford. Long ball forward here, something to green to think about. Does well. Takes it under control. Bedford perhaps could build something from the back and I I've just realised we are 80 plus minutes into this game. This second half has flown by. It's been captivating. Oh, boys. Two teams like heavyweight boxers going toe to toe. For a neutral, this has been a joy. Here's Manny down the far side. Cannon's off the Matlock man. Bedford throw. Bedford have probably seen the most amount of the ball they have in this game in the last uh, five or ten minutes or so. Oh, Akibine goes down, but keeps hold of the ball. Long ball forward. Akibine's still down. I'm not sure if something happened off the ball here. The Bedford Town players noticed it, but um, gets to his feet eventually. Bedford then, with the ball at their feet, in possession. Blake rises well. It sort of cannons off his face there, I think. But here's Greeno. Keeps it in well. Very well. Blake running down onto it. We're in the closing moments of this game. Penalties are looming here. And Matlock, I don't want to say it too much, but um, look a little bit up against it. The most they have done in this game. Flash of bodies here. They do deal with the danger. Well, as time ticks on, this game really is anybody's. As the ball flies into the box. Chance here for the home side. Smith sees it past the near post, but um, there is, well, we're going to the wire in this one. For the corner to the home side, there is only going to be one goal in this. In the closing moments, it's popped into the back post. Bedford will need to deal with it. Matlock are desperately searching for a goal here. There it is, back of the net, and that will probably do it. On the half volley, on the turn, it somehow found its way through everyone. And to the inside of the post, and it is sort of heartbreak for Bedford Town here because neither side deserves to lose this. It's been an absolute battle. However, it's Matlock with the goal, which may well be enough to send Bedford home. Matlock Town 1, Bedford Town 0. Long ball forward. Time ticks on for Bedford here. Matlock, if we're being honest, have looked strong in the midfield. And they have been strong enough. It means a lot for the home side. They will be marching on to the fourth qualifying round of the FA Trophy. It's Bedford who will be going home.
It's been an absolute battle today for the neutral. This has been an absolutely glorious game. Not many goals, but two, um, two heavyweights going toe-to-toe -to -toe on the field today. And it's Matlock who have been um, or have been more clinical and they find themselves going through to the next round. That's all we've got for you here in Derbyshire then this afternoon. Final score. It's Matlock Town 1, Bedford Town 0. Well let's sign it off, sign it off quick shall we because it's, it's awful, awful losing. Um, status quo are playing in the background by the way if you want a copyright strike this one never mind. Um, Oh, what a game. What a game we've seen here. There has been a winner. I said to you in about 80 minutes, would you rather lose on penalties or lose in 90 minutes? You said lose on penalties. The lads did good. good. We've battled hard here. It's been an absolute battle on that pitch out there today. Um, everyone's put in a shift. Um, and, you know... Horrible goal. Horrible, horrible goal. goal. <laughs> They're all horrible goals to concede on here, especially when they dump you out of the cup. But it is what it is. It's football, and it's, it's you know it's the league now, and we move on. We lick our wounds and we um, continue. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a long drive home, I think. Um, find my car. If you can find your car, yeah, it's somewhere around there. <laughs> uh, right, nice one. We're out the um, FA Trophy. It's, we're not going to win it this year. We'll win it next year, maybe. Um, Thanks for watching, see you on the other side, and um, we're back in league action in the next one. Take it easy, Tuesday. Oh, Rennie Howe's back at the Erie. <laughs> Come on, the Eagles.